Hello people of the internet, in this video I'll be showing you how to make three awesome and beautiful tumbler choker necklaces and I promise you making these trendy and stylish necklaces is really easy and so much fun to do. Plus, who wouldn't want them? So let's get right into it. And this is an awesome collaboration with NT DIY and she makes videos on DIYs and crafts so check out her video which is 10 DIY notebooks and remember to subscribe to her channel as well but if you're from her channel hello I'm Miss Craft Nerd and here on YouTube I make videos on DIYs crafts and anything artsy creative and fun so don't forget to click the subscribe button to get notifications every time I post plus I would love you forever if you subscribe so and of the chit chat, let's get started. So we'll start off with the pendant choker and what you'll need for this is some thick black string, some char charms of your choice, clasps, jump rings, pair of scissors, and beading pliers. First, cut your string until it kind of fits around your neck. Then open up a jump ring and stick that onto into the middle of your string. Next, add in your charm that you want to have and close that up. Now, if you have any excess string, cut that off so that it completely fits your neck. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make some class closing things at the ends if you don't already have them, which I didn't, so I'll be teaching you how. So take a jump ring, open it up, and attach another jump ring inside. Then put that on one end and stick that together until it looks something like this. And do that to both sides. Once that's done, take three jump rings and open up one of them and stick them all together until they're into a chain like so. Now attach that chain onto one end of your necklace and close that up together. This will help to make adjustments on your neck. Now on the other end, attach a clasp and close that up. And voila! For the next choker, we're going to do a chain choker. So what you'll need is some chain, charms of your choice, clasps, jump rings, beading pliers, and a pair of scissors. First, cut one piece of chain until it completely fits around your neck with nothing loose. Then cut another piece that is kind of a little bit looser, but not too much. So you'll have a large piece and a small piece. Then take a jump ring, open it up, and stick both ends of your chain through it. And close that up. And just do that to the other side. Once that's done, you should have something like this. Now take another jump ring once again and stick one charm in and attach that to the smaller piece and close that up. Now take another jump ring and put in another charm and stick that to the bottom, the other piece of your chain. Now open one end of the jump rings and attach a clasp. And close that up. And that's it. Now for the last choker, we're going to do the classic tattoo one. And what you'll need for this is some string. I'm using braiding cord, but I prefer that you guys use some elastic cord because that's way better, but this also works. And you'll also need some jump rings, clasps, beading pliers, a pair of scissors, and a book. So first, cut your string until it's the length of your arm span. Then, put both sides together, both ends, and at the part where it kind of bends over, I can't talk right now, make a small knot so that it creates a loop. Now with your book and a piece of tape, stick your string at the top. And now 
how it goes is you're going to take one side, put it over one string, pull it through from under, like so, as if you're knotting, and then pull all the way up, but not tightly. And you get this kind of little tiny loop. Now you're going to do the same thing. Go over one string, bring the string under and through, and then pull it up. So I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but hopefully how I'm showing it to you is pretty self-explanatory. And I promise you, it does take a little bit of practice. It did take me a few tries to get it right, but don't get discouraged. It's actually really easy once you get it, and it's pretty cute. This is actually my favorite joker. And also, at that time I was reading The Crown, and right now I just finished it, but it was so good, and personally, I think the part where they talk about her daughter is a little boring, but if you read it, tell me down in the comments below what you think. Personally, it made me cry at the end. Anyways, so once your whole pattern is done, once you got it to fit around your neck, make a few knots at the end as many triple, quadruple times, and then cut off ex any excess string. Now, open up a jump ring, and put it through one end where you didn't create the loop, and attach a clasp. And remember the loop we created? That's where the clasp is gonna go. And voila, you are done! So that's it guys, hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks to my niece for modeling the necklaces for the video. And don't forget to check Auntie's video and channel because her videos are so much fun to watch. And I wanted to start a new thing, question of the video. So, what is your ideal necklace? Like, what would it be? What type would you wear forever, like, all the time? Personally, for me, I would have, like, a flower necklace with flowers that would never, ever die. Like, I could wear them all the time. I don't have to take care of them. Tell me down in the comments, and I'll feature your reply in the next video. So, comment down below what your favorite necklace was, and give this video a thumbs up, because thumbsy uppies are awesome. But on Instagram and Twitter, use the hashtag MissCraftNerd to send me your recreations. And that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Toodles.